Hello, everyone. Um, today, we have a new moon in Scorpio. And um, Scorpio is one of my favorite signs, but so I'm very excited about this new moon. Um, for those of you who have not been here before, uh, a new moon is the start of a lunar calendar. So this is like the first lunar phase of the moon cycle. It's when the moon is between the earth and the sun. So you're not gonna be able to see it in the sky tonight. It's gonna be a very dark sky. And really it's treated as the beginning of a new personal cycle. So really a time to turn over a new leaf, start new projects, um, manifest anything, any goals for the next month, et cetera, et cetera. So today we are going to participate in a new moon circle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about the astrology of kind of what's going on in the stars right now to get a little bit of insight. We'll go over the horoscopes for this new moon. We'll go over a few action steps that you can do the next couple of days to kind of just bring in the energy of this new moon. We'll pull a tarot card. We're actually gonna pull an Oracle card today instead of a tarot, instead of a tarot card. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of journaling. If anyone wants to share, they can share. And then the last little bit will just be a little bit of a body scan meditation for today. So what you're gonna need is a journal and a pen, or if you don't have a journal, then you can use a piece of paper. Um, and then if you like to work with crystals, feel free to you know, have any near you, amethyst, obsidian, um, smoky quartz, labradite, all of these are really good for Scorpio season. And then if you like to work with any candles, incense, sage, if you wanna kind of just set the tone in your area, um, you can go ahead and do that now as well. So I'll give you guys like a minute um, or a couple of seconds to just gather the things that you need. And if you want to like any candles, burn any sage, anything like that, you can go ahead and do that now. All right, so hopefully everyone has what they need. And we'll get started kind of just by talking about the astrology of what's going on right now. So this new moon is a very powerful new moon. It's very intense. Uh, Scorpio is a very intense sign. And it's really all about diving into our feelings and going as deep as possible. So Scorpio, energy in itself is very, um, I don't like to use the term dark because it's not like negative energy, but it is that like mystical kind of like into the darkness, into the depths, just like very, very deep. And you may desire meaningful emotional experiences right now. Anything that's like shallow or just feels not truly authentic is going to kind of wither away. You're not going to be very interested in it. Um, if you feel introverted, that's okay. This is a very um, intense sign. It's going like within. So a lot of times you'll see a lot of introversion. And really what we want to focus on is just embracing that solitude. You know, even if you're an extrovert or someone who's constantly on the go, doing all these things, being with lots of people, we always need to take some time to just gather ourselves, right? And spend some time with our emotions, our feelings, um, and really listening to what our body needs. So this is, this moon is calling us to reflect inwards and really get clear on things like, where do you want to breathe new life into, you know, your life, whether it's, um, work projects, relationships, financial situations, whatever it is, and how can you get very clear on where it is that you want to go from here? The themes for this new moon include transformation, endings and beginnings, intensity, healing, sexual empowerment, as well as power. These are all very Scorpio energy um, topics. And there is some influence by Uranus, which means that there could be some big unexpected changes or surprises. Uh, you can also expect your emotions to be a little bit all over the place. So if you've noticed the past like two, three days, you've just been very emotional. 
that's okay. Um, that's what Scorpio is going to bring out. Mars is also in Scorpio right now. And Mars is a planet of a little bit of like anger um, energy. So if there's undertones of frustration, anger, exhaustion, um, maybe some moodiness, don't be, excuse me, um, don't be like nervous about that. It's, it's all kind of coming within this new moon energy. And really it's a time to manifest big changes. This is like, um, there's a couple different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like animal aspects to Scorpio energy. So for example, like a snake shedding its skin or a phoenix rising from the ashes, that is this type of like energy that's being called in right now. We're being asked to shape shift into the most magical, powerful, authentic versions of ourselves. And just know that changes and endings are necessary for growth. So if you think about like the snake, yeah, it's got to change. It's got to fully shed its skin. If you think about the phoenix, it literally bursts into flames, <laughs> goes to ashes, and then rises again. So that type of energy, um, like if you feel like things are kind of exploding around you or nothing's going right or how you thought it was going to go or as planned, this is um, the journey that we're call being called to go on right now. Uh, we're going to place some emphasis on discovering more of our passions. Um, are there parts of you that you have kept in the shadows? If so, Scorpio season is really that time to let your like witchy, weird, wild selves be exposed. Um, if you think about like the energy of Halloween and just like all of, like the costumes and like the the darker like. Um, witchy type of energy like that is very very scorpio-esque which makes sense why that holiday is during scorpio season and there's also um strong themes of releasing shame during this time so if you have a lot of doubt or fears or just um like negative self-talk that really limits you now is the time to let go of that. Let go of any parts that bring about shame. Embrace what makes you unique and authentically you, right? We don't want to be the same as um, everyone around us. That wouldn't be very fun. So really embracing your authenticity, your uniqueness, the things that maybe you once were ashamed for, um, but now you can embrace them and kind of step into your power using them. Um, okay, so that's it for the astrology part. Um, let's go into the horoscopes for this new moon. Whenever we do horoscopes, I ask that you check your sun and your rising sign. If you do not know your rising sign, you can go to a online calculator and you're going to have to put in your birthday, your birth time, excuse me, and your birth place. Those three things, um, the time is the most important for the rising sign. So with your signs, and if you don't know your rising, that's okay. Most people know their sun sign. That's just like when you were born, like the day, um, you can look that up online as well if you don't know. Um, but both of them are going to be relevant. So for Aries, this is really a good time to manifest partnerships, connecting with like-minded individuals, creating relationships that feel success. Um, this is not necessarily like romantic partnerships, but more uh, like friendships or coworker partnerships, things like that. Um, you also want to consider any like joint commitments or joint resources. How can you share the load while also contributing your part and getting the rewards and compensation you deserve? So this is like what I think about with this is when, when you were in school and you were assigned on like a group project, you're either the person who does like the bare minimum and gets all the credit or you're the person who does everything and, you know, barely gets the credit you deserve, right? You just like kind of had all of this work to do. So really finding that balance of like, how can I put in the work, but how can I also receive the benefits of others putting in work to help me out? Um, next is Taurus. And this is your intimate relationships are really being highlighted right now. So this is like romantic partnerships. Um, you might feel that a fresh start is in order. And if so, like, what do you need in order to be able to rely on your partner? Are there issues that resolving around revolving around trust are there um you know things where like you just need some extra help um 
whatever it is, trying to have that like open line of communication so that you and your partner can really live like harmoniously. And how can you also work as a team so that everyone's needs are met? Again, same thing. So for Gemini's, this is a focus on employment, staying healthy, and general well-being. Your like habits, your self-care rituals are very important right now. They're going to help keep you grounded. And it's important to take a look at your career because there has been this idea of like working, working, working until you can retire and then you enjoy your life. Whereas now um, we're kind of seeing, you know, maybe that's not the best way to live life, right? Do we really want to work ourselves into the ground just so we can have a few years of life at the end of it? Not really. So take a look at your career. How is it contributing to your well-being? Are you super overworked? Are you really overburdened? Are you not feeling fulfilled? How can you kind of switch things around? Um, maybe you can delegate tasks to someone else or take a much needed vacation or figure out um, just ways to kind of like make sure that your mental health and your physical health are being supported in a positive way by your career. Next we have cancer and this is all about creativity and self-expression. Um, so really like hone in on your hobbies, anything that you have like a weird talent or knack for or any projects that you've been doing. Um, Find things that renew your sense of happiness. So if you really like to dance, go dance. If you really like to paint, go ahead. Um, if you like to knit, it's getting colder out. Go ahead and start knitting. Um, whatever it is that you really enjoy that kind of just like lights you up, start doing that. And give yourself permission to cultivate a space that is yours. So I love this part because yes, we want to be creative and we want to be like self-expression and all this stuff, but if you have time, if you are a cancer and you can find some space in your home to really like just kind of make your own, whether it's like a corner of your bedroom or something um, that you just feel really safe and like open to create within that space, that would be ideal. Next, we have Leo and this new moon we're using to connect with family and kind of take a deep dive into domesticity. So this is very um a little bit unnatural for leo leo is very like vibrant and outgoing and like very sunshine type of energy um but really we're asking you to kind of come back and say okay where what parts of your home have maybe been neglected again creating like a comfortable space for your home um thinking about what is your ideal house setting like are you living in your forever home right now are you renting a place are you maybe in between spaces just really focusing on like domestic life settling down creating a environment that you would like to be in long term and just nourishing yourself within your home and your space for Virgo's communication skills are the focus of this new moon. So thinking about how you relate to others, how you express yourself in conversation, really pay attention to your tone and the language that you use, especially because as I talked about earlier, we have that um, Mars influence that can give a little bit of like frustration and anger. So uh, like during this time, so really just pay attention to how you're speaking, who you're speaking with, maybe how um, this is a little bit difficult to do, but when you're speaking, try to perceive how the person is like perceiving it. Um, so paying attention to other people's body language, right? When you're speaking to them and just making sure that your point is getting across in the way that you want it to get across rather than, you know, just being like, oh, well, this is what I said. And that's that they can take it however they want. Just making sure everything is very clear. Next we have Libra. And Libra is all about money and material items right now. So if you are looking for a job, if you have a really good job, but you've been working on like a promotion and this is going to be the time for that for Libras right now. Think about, about what realistically pays the bills and what you do that's lucrative. So if you have been, um, you know, unsatisfied in any way with your career or your job choice, thinking about maybe how you can change it or bring in some extra income um, doing something that you really enjoy. 
And the way you depend on others will also be changing. So if maybe you get an inheritance or um, somebody gives you money, anything like that, just be open to accepting monetary money and monetary um, like things, whether it's stocks or just like stuff that you can, like old jewelry, things that you could sell, um, be open to however you're gonna receive that. Next we have Scorpio, and this is like the big fresh start for you. So taking time to rejuvenate, really like following your instincts. This is a very like psychic time, intuitive time for Scorpio. So um, tune into what you need, make notes about your year ahead, right? This is, if you are a Scorpio, your birthday is either coming up or has recently passed. So um, kind of setting down and looking at your goals for the next year, like where are we going to start? Where, where do we want to go? How can we evolve and grow into our most authentic um, passionate versions of ourselves. For Sagittarius, this is focusing on your habits and your health. So saying goodbye to any bad habits during this new moon. Focus your energy on having closure and just like transcending, right? So it's a time to level up, let go of anything that's really um, not serving you, whether it's too much drinking, um, whether it's too much TV, video games, overeating, anything that you're like overindulging in, or maybe you're withholding, um, like accepting love from others or withholding love from someone else. Uh, really just like let go of all those destructive habits and allow yourself to really grow and um, embrace the most healthy version of you. If you've been thinking about doing a detox, now would be a really great time for Sagittarius to do that. And we've got Capricorn, which is all about teamwork, collaboration, and connecting with your community. So this is very much like an outreach type of energy. Um, take note of who you're meeting during these times, uh, because anyone like new alliances could be very profitable for you in the future. They could help you achieve your goals. Um, allow yourself to be entertained by those that have a passion for life and something bigger, right? So really, this is just like listening to what people have to say, how um, you can collaborate with them, having that mindset of like, I want to work with others. Let me see who's around. Let me see who has similar visions as me and um, kind of going forward from there. Then we have Aquarius and this is um, such an ambitious like uh, spotlight type of energy. It's really like your time to be seen. So you're going out in public, um, sharing your goals, sharing any projects, building your brand and really like living it. So this isn't always in the sense of like, um, uh, work as like building your brand, but like your brand of you, like, who are you? What do you do? What is, what is going on in your head? What drives you? That kind of thing, like building that, sharing it with the world, getting clear on your vision, moving forward in alignment with what you want. And then Pisces, the last sign, is really asking you to focus on your projects and your goals. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Inspiration for you right now is probably going to come in the form of like education or philosophy. So it would be a good time to pick up a book, attend a lecture, learn something new. Um, you might attract people who can help you or teach you. Just turn your energy towards those that can help guide you. Okay. Those are our horoscopes. Um, so just some actions to take during this Scorpio new moon. So again, spend some time alone. As I said before, it's just like a very deep emotional time in the stars right now. Um, so really like spend some time with yourself, tuning into what you need, integrating the energies of this full moon. That way you can usher in the transformation that we're being asked to do, right? We're being asked to transform right now. Think about the phoenix, think about the snake. So giving your, yourself space and just time to heal and do that is very important. Creating an altar. So I love this one because Scorpio energy really um, 
it's all things like taboo. It's like death and sex and transformation and just like things that a lot of people are like, Ooh, I'm a little bit uncomfortable talking about this. Right. Like it's, you know, we're going to sweep that under the rug for now. Um, but setting up an altar is really just like a sacred space to put anything spiritual on. So for example, if you're someone who, you know, has a couple of crystals, but you don't really tell people that you like to use crystals or that you attend moon circles or care about like the moon cycles or astrology or anything like that. Um, now's your time to just like find a little space in your home. Maybe put your crystals up, light some candles. When we do our manifestations in a little bit, you can like put those up there. Um, if there's any herbs that you want to smudge or feathers or incense or anything like that, just create like this little like sacred space that you can kind of go to each day and think about your manifestations, express gratitude, um, get like a little bit like witchy with it. And the last one is to embrace your sensuality. So again, that Scorpio energy is like very intimate. So However, you can bring intimacy into your life, whether it's with your partner, whether it's with yourself, um, you know, spend time lighting a candle, putting on music, um, maybe having a glass of wine or dancing or sitting in a tub, just getting like very intimate, feeling um, very secure, whether it's with someone else or yourself. You can practice a meditation if you are, if you have a partner in your life, um, gazing into each other's eyes for a significant amount of time can be very intimate, even if you're not like, touching each other um, and just connecting on more of like a physical level and spiritual level, excuse me. Okay, so we are gonna pull a card. And again, I'm not using tarot cards this time, I'm using Oracle cards. Uh, it is this deck called Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. I just think it's so pretty. I love like all the designs. So all I'm going to do is just shuffle the deck and we're kind of asking like, what do we need to know for this lunar cycle? What um, energy should we be calling in during this Scorpio new moon? Okay, um, the card we got was called Mirror. So I'm going to read a little description. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, it takes me a sec. Here we go. Okay. Mirror, who or what is triggering you? The filter of our own experience is how we experience life 90% of the time through our own projections. When someone reminds us of an unhealed experience, we get triggered. Often it is an unconscious thing. People and situations can trigger our mirrors to reflect back to us what we believe to be true about life, the universe, and ourselves. Mirrors pointing to our shadow and our light. Mirrors revealing the parts of us that are yet to be accepted, witnessed, or loved. This card is guiding you to look closely at what experiences or people are currently triggering in you and what they could be mirroring back to you. When have you felt like this before? Could they be opportunities to heal something within you? Or are they shining a light on something that longs to be witnessed in you? This goes for the good and the bad. The good, those who admire and put on a pedestal. If we do not realize that we are attracted to them because we are like them, we will need to cut them down in order to rise to their level. The bad, those we despise, are envious of and put down. If we do not realize that they trigger something in us that is still yet to be healed, and we will remain hurt and wounded ourselves. Work on your light. So this is three questions to consider. Who or what is triggering you? What is it in you that they are triggering? And what part of you longs to be witnessed? I think this is such a great one for Scorpio season, just because it's all about like going inward and really like doing the work to find where we can heal and transform. And if we're, you know, following this card's guidance of the whole mirror and seeing where in our lives we're being triggered or where in our lives things are kind of coming up, um, 
maybe similar patterns, similar cycles, we can, you know, work backwards to heal those and really take on our most highest self, authentic personality. Um, so I'd love that. Okay, so now we're gonna get on to the journaling. Um, the first one we're gonna do is our manifesting. So if you don't have your journal or your pen out already, please take it out. And I will set the timer for five minutes. I'll let you know when to begin. Um, but just think about what you want to manifest during this moon cycle. So usually between one and three things that you want to call into your life, get honest with yourself, you know, what scary dreams and desires are you terrified to go for? And as you write, open up your heart to these dreams, how would it feel to accomplish them? So I will set the timer. Just give me one second. All right. Um, you guys can get started and just write down whatever you really want to call in and think about the themes of Scorpio season, that transformation, um, the phoenix, the snake, and see if that can contribute to your dreams as well. All right, go ahead. Okay. So write down your last sentence or two. And if anyone would like to share, whether they want to share something that they're loving themselves through, or if they want to share anything that they're trying to manifest, you can either put it in the chat or um, go ahead and either raise your hand or unmute yourself if you'd like. Okay. If anyone decides they want to share at the end, you're more than welcome to. Um, but if not, we're going to move on to just like our little body scan meditation. So a good reason why we do this is because after we put in all this energy to, you know, write down our manifestations and our calling in the energy from the new moon, um, it's nice to have our bodies be very clear. So with this body scan, what we're going to do is we're really just going to turn our attention inwards and kind of send breath throughout our body and anywhere that's tight or um, where you feel a little bit of resistance, we're going to just send some extra breath there. So first either sit or lay down in a comfortable position and place your hands on your lap or on the ground with your palms facing down, okay? Because we want to ground ourselves. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. <sighs> We're gonna do that two more times. As you let go, really like let anything that's not serving you come out. So in through your nose, And out through your mouth. <sighs> and one more time. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. <sighs> so now just focus on your breathing, finding a comfortable breath for you. And with your eyes closed, begin to relax the muscles in your body. You can first start by sending breath up to the top of your head. As you focus your attention to the top of your head, release any tension that's there. As you breathe out, feel any headaches, any tension, any tightness, any pain. Let it go. Now sending your breath to the back of your throat, opening up your throat chakra. Sending your breath there. Nice deep breath in. And letting it go, releasing any tension. If you need to cough, that's okay. Just get it out. 
Now turn your attention towards your shoulders. We tend to carry a lot of stress here. Sending breath to your shoulder area. Releasing your muscles, relaxing them down. Really just letting any tension in your shoulders go. Moving your focus down your arms to your fingers. Noticing where you might be clenching if you're clenching your fists. Letting go of any of your muscle tension and just sending breath to help you relax. Moving down to your chest. Letting go of any heavy heaviness, any sadness, any grief, any tension here, sending your breath to your chest. Just letting it go. Moving down to your stomach and your lower back. Sending any breath to this area of your body that feels tense, that feels tight. If there's any pain, sending your breath to that pain. And as you breathe out, letting it go. Now focusing on your hips. Sending breath down to your hips. Relaxing more and more with each exhale. Feel your hips sink deeper and deeper, whether it's into the floor, your chair, your bed, wherever you're seated and laying down. Just letting go of any tension. Moving down to your legs, feel them getting heavier, sinking deeper and deeper into whatever is supporting you. Sending your breath to your legs. And as you exhale, letting any pain, any tension, letting all of it go. And lastly, feeling your feet, sending breath all the way down to your feet. Noticing any tension, any tightness, any soreness. Letting them go, letting them relax out. With each exhale, feeling them getting heavier and heavier. And now as you continue to breathe, take a nice deep breath in and visualize beautiful white light energy just surrounding your whole body. This healing energy, sending any, anywhere that needs extra love, anywhere that's tight or has any little bit of pain, sending your breath to it, sending this healing energy there watching it swirl around you. And letting it go. On your own, you can start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, maybe give a couple of neck circles. Getting some energy back into your body movement back around your body and when you're ready you can open your eyes we're just going to end by taking a nice deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouths <sighs> shaking out whatever you want to shake out you can put your hands on your heart and just 
give yourself a little bit of self-love here, right? Um, and if anyone would like to share at this time, if you, you know, did the journal prompts and you want to share now, um, any of your manifestations or what you're trying to call in for this month, go ahead and do so. You can just unmute yourself. Um, if not, thank you all so, so much for coming. I really appreci appreciate you all being here. And I hope this Scorpio new moon brings you all of the transformation, all of the amazing things to come. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, everyone, for Zooming in. And uh, we'll see you uh, at the next uh, moon circle. All mm -hmm. the best. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.